America, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue with another session on how to. Uh, we're going to fill that blank in with how to make spare ribs, St. Louis ribs, right? Uh, a lot of you probably don't know how to actually, uh, you actually go buy spare ribs, wasting your money actually. Go buy you some spare ribs, follow my video, and you make your own spare ribs. And you have some rib tips too, extra meat to put on the grill, finger food, right? So just stick with me, I'm gonna go in this kitchen. I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you with a regular knife, sharpen the cut, of course. And we're gonna use another tool that a friend of mine brought over. We just messing around trying to cut brisket, see what the, uh, the best best knife or the best uh, uh, electric tool to use uh, to cut brisket, slicing it. Um, so he brought over this thing called the Electric Fisherman. They use that to, you know, like people lazy don't wanna scale the fish, uh, to, to scale fish. So this is what you use to fillet, you know, fish without having to take the scales off of it or whatever. So if you're looking for that tool, it does other stuff too. So uh, stick around, man. We're going to go in this kitchen and uh, cut up a couple slabs of uh, spare ribs. Pardon me on this uh, truck that just passed by. But anyway, we're going to cut up two different slabs of ribs. One using a regular knife that you got in your kitchen probably. And two if you got an electric knife or either um, uh, the corded one. You can follow that part of the video too, man. Hope this helps. See y'all in the kitchen. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B. Put these gloves on. I'm about to show y'all how to uh, take a spare rib and make it into a St. Louis style. Perfectly like when you're trying to impress people or whatnot. Got my little sharpening stone or, or stick, whatever you want to call it. All I'm doing right now is just cutting off meat. This is what we call, or what I call rib tips, right? All the extra meat that comes off of a rib tip. So let me show you the rib actually. This is a spare rib. See all this hunk of meat up the top? Let me flip it over. You see here you got the flap, which I'm going to go ahead and cut off. So all you do is, with a sharpened knife, lift the flap, right? Lift the flap. And you're just cutting it off. All right? Easy day. All this meat still going to grill. Still going to grill. Cut some of that stuff off. All this extra. And then all we're going to do is square it up. Real easy. Square it up. So what I'll do is, let's see how I want to do this. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. I'm trying to find out the easiest way to show you guys. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the bone. This bone here, right? The big bone right here and where it stops. And I'm just gonna cut along here until I'm done. So what I mean is my bone is here. So all I'm gonna do is just make a cut and then come across. So remember the objective is to square these ribs off, right? And then I'm gonna pull my membrane. So what I'm gonna do is make this easy. Extra meat, yes sir. Tender, tender. That's what we get full on as, as the chefs. Cut it right here. And I might even come back and show you with my electric knife. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, it's brand new. I hadn't used it yet. Let me test it out. You hear the bones breaking? And then you just come back with your knife. Let me turn this around. There we go. Cutting away from myself. Oh, that's still going on the grill. And you can already see how it's starting to shape up. Right? Real easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come, cut my ends. It's not about perfection. I mean, unless you're a, a perfectionist kind of person. Oh, we do this in the backyard. And we come here, find my first bone, and I'm cutting right before it. Flip it around. Do the same thing. First bone right here. Bam. 
Easy day. There you have it. Easy day. Easy money. Uh, you got any questions? Comment below. I might come back with my saw, uh, my electric one, and show you that way too. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we back. Go try something new here. My partner got this electric fisherman saw. How this shit work? Oh, yeah. So we're going to try this. Actually, got a little thought to it, too. Do this differently, right? So, uh, obviously, in the first segment, you saw how you mainly do it if you don't have a, uh, a blade at the house. I actually got another one that I ordered off Amazon. and uh, But I'm going to save it. We're going to try this dog on electric fisherman. This is what they use to fillet uh, fish, too. How many blades come with this? Um, you got one. You got two blades. Right? You got a nine-inch blade, and you got a uh, this seven and a half-inch blade or something. Nine like and a seven-inch. All right. Turn this around this way. And cut against the cord. I wish we didn't have to. Yeah. Long, longer cord. I don't think I suggest. All right. We're gonna try this out. Y'all see? Pray for the fingers. Right. Cut like butter. Kind of good, man. Mm -hmm. Throw that over there. We'll come back and pull the membrane in a minute. Let me turn the table around so I can do this. Remember the key knife, this big bone right here. Right here is you want to go in there and then go down. So what I'm going to do is, actually I'm going to turn it this way so I can cut against this doggone uh, cable yeah. or the plug. We're gonna go this way with it. Alright. See how sharp this thing is. Good now. Yeah. Alright, hold on, let me do this then. Let me go ahead and square the rest of it off. Easy day. Very nice. Hey, this might be good for uh, brisket, y'all. Actually, I know it is. So usually what I do is I find a hole in here and uh, go from there. There you go. That'll fit on it so keep it smooth. Yeah. Bam. There we go. Delicacy. Yep. And let me show you how I square it off. Ooh. Spare rib look like. Easy day. All I'm going to do is cut my end just to make it even. And then call it a day. Perfectly squared St. Louis rib. Two different ways. Let me know if you got a better way, so comment below and tell me how you do it. We'll see y'all in a little bit. There you have it, y'all. Two different ways to trim some spare ribs into St. Louis style. Uh, comment below, man. Actually, post some pictures below if, uh, if you can. Show us what your cut look like. And don't be trying to show me them ones you just bought straight out the pack that's still frozen from the stove. I want to see you actually hand cut with your hand, using a knife or electric. I'd like to see both, actually. Uh, what your skills like. See how steady your hand are. And then let me, let me see a picture of the ribs, too, man, once you actually put them on the grill. Because you have no idea how perfect they turn out once you cut them and they cook and the, and the meat draws up off the bone when they're done. Man, it looks, it looks pretty much like you buy them out the store. Or at a restaurant like Outback or somewhere like that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be coming back with some future videos on how to fill in the blank. Y'all comment below if you want to see something else on how to do something. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. I'll let your boy.